welcome to our May Collective Community Tarot Card Reading. I'm so excited to be bringing you this video after a 30 day chill out hiatus with the Mindset Clutter Cleanse and all of you guys who joined us on the Mindset Clutter Cleanse. Just want to put this in there. We are going to be doing another one because it was super beneficial for a lot of you guys who joined us. I've heard lots of messages from all of you who have joined us saying how freeing it was, how clearing it was, how much clarity you've gained from doing the Mindset Clutter Cleanse. So I am for sure going to be putting that out there again for you guys, maybe in another couple months. If you're interested in joining the Mindset Clutter Cleanse, just make sure you type in the comments down below, interested, so I know to contact you and get the word to you when the Mindset Clutter Cleanse comes out. So. Without further ado, let us jump in to our tarot card reading for the month of May. These are the two decks that I really like to use for this reading and that I use for myself. As always, they are linked in the comments down below. So we're gonna start first with our Sacred Rebels deck. Love this deck. Like I tell you guys, every single month, I love this deck so much. Have a little stone crystal in there. So here are the cards, the front, the back, they're beautiful cards. And we're just gonna shuffle here, thinking about all of you guys in the Raising Wellness community. It's been so long since we've been together and I've been talking to this camera and talking to you. It feels really good to be back here with you guys. Shuffling these cards, thinking about each and every one of you. What you need to hear in this month of May 2019 from the Sacred Rebel Stack. What messages, images, words do you need to see in here? All right, all 712 of you here on the YouTube channel. A thousand of you in the Instagram community and 50 of you guys in the Facebook Raising Wellness community. Thinking about all of you guys as I pull this card here. Feeling, feeling like it's in this deck, in this part of the deck. Here's our card. Number 19 in the Sacred Rebels deck, it says, dream a beautiful dream. And I will put up a picture of the cards once we pull from the other deck. So as always, this card is our message card. And then we're going to be pulling from the Universe Has Your Back deck from Gabrielle Bernstein to just get an affirmation that will go alongside our Sacred Rebels card. An affirmation that we can use throughout the month you know when we lose sight of the message and the intentions that we set during the beginning of this month maybe even the new moon when it arrives so let's just see what affirmation we need this month to remind us of the messages to dream a beautiful dream from the number 19 in the sacred rebel stick okay I really feel like it's this top one Usually it's a little bit harder to figure out what the card is. So here's our card. It says, happiness is my birthright. So here's a picture of the two cards. So to dream a beautiful dream, this card is really wanting you to recognize the perfection in life and not just the perfection that's tangible that you can see that you can um, really touch upon know that it's there and and have um, complete faith in it because it is seen it wants you to open up your mind open up your eyes and ask the question through all situations whether it's your body your life your finances your job um, any situation that's really coming up for you right now 
ask to see the beauty in it and open up your eyes to see something that maybe you haven't seen. See the perfection of how certain situations are coming about and leading you into this space of change and renewal and, and beauty. And it talks a lot about in the book, it talks a lot about how beauty has become this very like narrow tunnel one way airbrush instagram model kind of perfection but beauty is in all things it's like nature it's ever changing and continuous and flowing and i just imagine like vines and how they slowly start to drape over a fence and take this new form just by being in what's there right now for them to use nature really is incredibly diverse and beautiful in all different places and situations through whether it's through the destruction through like a forest fire and the renewal like the spring blossoms and blooms that are coming up it's it's beauty it's beautiful in in all its different shapes and forms and and spaces of growth so it really wants you to open up your eyes to be able to see all the different spaces of changes and growth in your life as beautiful you know even the places of suffering the more that you can tune into the gratitude of what is around you right now and open your eyes to the beauty that it has for you and the perfection that it has for you the more you will be able to move through those places that may feel stagnant right now you just instead of resisting it or thinking that that situation, that person, that financial burden is wrong or harmful or not helping you, open your eyes to see the beauty of it. What is it teaching you? What is it showing you? What have you learned through it? And that is when you can move past it and move into those next phases of growth in your life, those next phases of, of beauty and love and creation in your life. This is a very creative card. So it wants you to really start tuning into that creative energy, really start tuning into observing and imagining other things that aren't in this physical reality yet. It wants you to move past the physical reality and really be able to observe from a higher perspective the beauty and the synchronicity that is all around you. And with our affirmation card, remember that Happiness is your birthright. Have faith in the fact that happiness is your birthright. Love is your birthright. Having beauty around you, within you, in your life is your birthright. So dream a beautiful dream. Really open your eyes to seeing the beauty that's around you and have this in your mind that happiness, beauty, love is your birthright and it is always surrounding you instead of having that maybe resistant or fearful kind of behavior. So with this topic, with this reading, I want you to observe whatever situation in your life that is coming up in your head, person, place, thing, idea, whatever it is that's popping up into your head. See if there's a lot of resistance there. And if there is, ask yourself, what is the beauty in this? and you'll find it, promise. So that is your prompt for maybe a journal entry for just thinking about for the day. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much gratitude, and I'm so excited for this month of May 2019, being back in the social media world with you guys, being back on the Facebook community. I'm so excited to tap back in there every single day and help you guys foster and cultivate this feeling and faith in the beauty and the happiness and the love that is surrounding you that is always your birthright to have in your life. So, so happy to be doing that with you guys again. It brings me a lot of joy and fulfillment to help you all open your eyes a little bit more and find the joy in your life again. So I'm sending you off with lots of love lots of gratitude. I hope to see you in our new moon meditation video dropping very soon and I will see you next time.